In a few days, the curtain will rise. The spotlight will shine on a group of local actors, and there will be drama. Teatro Nagual is bringing the play Lydia to Sacramento's The Sofia, and Angel Rodriguez is here to tell us all about the play. Welcome, Angel. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're happy to have you on. And Angel, could you tell us about the play Lydia and what it's about? Yeah, absolutely. So Lydia by Octavio Solis, it's, it's this dark drama. Um, it takes place in the 1970s during the Vietnam War. Um, and this is this happens in the Texas on the Texas border. Um, it's an intense lyrical and uh, magical realism play. So basically, the the Flores family, it's this Mexican American family. Um, they welcome Lydia. It's she's an undocumented maid into their home in El Paso, Texas, um, to take care of their daughter Ceci, who. Sissy was tragically disabled in this car accident on the eve of her quinceanera, two weeks prior to when the play takes place. And um, Lydia, the maid, and Sissy, the daughter, they create this immediate and miraculous bond, and it just sets the entire family on this mysterious and shocking journey with this, uh, tons of revelations that I will not mention to not spoil the play for you. Yeah, definitely a lot of drama in this play. And what role do you play in Lydia? Could you tell us about your character? Yeah, no, absolutely. So uh, I am a producer for this show. It's my first time producing. Um, but my favorite part of the show is that I'm an actor. Uh, I play the role of Rene. He's the oldest sibling in the Flores family. And um, initially, he comes across as this dark and angry guy. There's a lot going on in his, in his head. But as the play goes on, and as Lydia starts pushing the little buttons into everyone, um, the layers start peeling. And um, the audience will slowly get to find out why Rene is the way he is. OK, well, you're doing a lot. I see you producing and acting. And the play uses, you mentioned, the method of magical realism. What is that, and how is it used in Lydia? Yeah, magical realism. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, things about theater. Uh, so magical realism is is widely known um, to be present in um, Latin American literature and art. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a method of storytelling that it, it mixes the ordinary world with the spiritual world, and it's not fantasy, but it basically brings the um, the strains with the fantastical into what we know as realism or the everyday world. Okay, good to know. And what makes this play so yeah. inspiring? Well, this 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 play, uh, the way it's written is <laughs> it's so beautiful. Dario Solis, the playwright, he he really mastered the art of of just bringing poetry to theater and not making it boring. <laughs> um, it, he does it so naturally and so beautifully the the characters in this play are just really complex and they're deep and they're multi-layered um and even though i i've read this play so many times but i still get goosebumps just just thinking about these characters and their situations and and the drama that they go through it still it, it really does give me the goosebumps okay that's good to know i feel like if the story gives you goosebumps it's something you got to catch and what has made this production special to you I think for me, honestly, I, I it's it's so amazing just just getting to work with other Latinx actors yeah. and and artists and and producers. Um, I this this specific production it, it has so many passionate people working to to make it happen. Uh, for example, we have our executive producer Richard Falcon, who's also the artistic director of Teatro Nahual. Um, that man can make anything happen. He has these special magical powers. Um, an amazing guy, amazing guy to work with. Um, then there's the Spano Roditis. He's our director, and his love for this art form and for this play is just—it's so brilliantly present in every rehearsal. Um, these actors, the cast is just so fun to work with. They're so professional and and it's always an interesting, we always have these great conversations to explore these roles. Um, oh, and then I, I get to work with Patricia Rodriguez. She's one of the leads. Uh, she plays the role of Cecilia, Ceci. 
and she happens to be my real younger sister. Um, she's 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 my younger sister in the play, and then she's my younger sister in real life. So, I, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and it's one of my favorite parts about this production. Oh wow! I'm sure we'll be able to see that bond, being that she's your little sister in real life and in the play. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Angel, and telling us about Lydia. For more on tickets, performances, and more, visit bstreettheater.org.